Uh-huh. Yeah. It's Friday, which means it means a day. Phenomenal. Drink. Huh. <laughs> I mean, ESPN does a good. whole segment called Come On, Man. And, like, if you actually did, like, the 3HL drinking game to that segment, you'd be lying on the floor two and a half minutes in. Yeah, we'd be laggered out. Hikered out. <laughs> ever find that monkey? The monkey got eaten? No, that was another monkey. I saw a report about that. Oh, there was more than one monkey? Yeah. You know what I was thinking? The monkey with the herpes that's on the loose is still on the loose. Oh, man. Oh. Not touching that monkey. Oh, that's not uh, well, I would hope not. Somebody, you know, I was thinking about I was thinking about this in the shower this morning. Of course you were. Somebody emailed me and said, what animal would you be most afraid of, Clay? Because I know you're not afraid of animals. Hang on, that needs to be a new 3HL segment sponsored by some kind of shower product. That's the only time I have to think. When nothing else is going on, there's no, like, phones going off, my kids aren't screaming. Uh, no emails, nothing else. And I was thinking, isn't the ability to climb a tree the ultimate safety net valve in Africa? <laughs> this is what you're thinking yeah. about this hour. I was thinking, because you can't outrun a tiger, <laughs> and you can't outrun a lion. But don't tigers climb trees? I don't think they do, do they? Oh, yeah. yeah, they do. They climb trees. Don't you see tigers laying in a tree? Sometimes you see a picture of them laying in a tree. Like in the upper branches? I mean, like up past the low, yeah. So I'm you're telling me, a tiger, they can, I don't know about a tiger. Come into yeah, a tree a and pull you out? Yeah, or a cougar, one of them, yeah. I, I don't know, but I was thinking, isn't that one of the first I wouldn't be surprised. These people were putting them up in there and then taking the pictures. Because I was thinking, I'm not very good at climbing. <laughs> I'm not very good at climbing trees, but I was thinking that's probably, that's I probably love if I lived in Africa. Tree. That's probably one of the things I would have really focused on because you can't outrun these animals. Oh, I, I, I but I was thinking they don't really go up the tree. Certainly alligators can't climb trees. I learned how to climb trees. Crocodiles. You did? Yeah, just run up a tree. Side, just run up sideways? Uh-huh, and then you grab, jump up. That's pretty athletic. I don't think I could have pulled yeah. that off. I'm not very athletic. Next, uh, hey, Justin, what's up? Hey, uh, just wanted to correct you all on the lines in the trees. It's cheetahs that can climb the tree. Oh. They take the food up in the tree so the lines can't Oh, I said it was something. Well, that's part of a, well, is that part of a tiger and a lion? It's a cat family. Yeah, it's, it's part of the cat family. family. Yeah, yeah. Meow. Yeah, so if I climb in a tree and a cheetah can get me, I mean, that's why, still kind of the same thing. Why would right? a cat be able to climb the tree but a lion wouldn't? Yeah, that's interesting, though. Maybe because well, it's too big. Well, lions are Well, lions have are really, big. really long claws. claws. Yeah, but they're both the feline family. Yeah, but a lion can weigh like th- the one they shot because the other the day weighed bigger. three hundred pounds. Yeah, I think yeah, that's but they're probably strong. Why. Yeah, but not for climbing. Well, that'd be a lot scarier if a lion would be in a tree. Would not? I mean, there's not very many dangerous animals in the trees. Jaguars are in trees. Yeah, jaguars. So that what he said, a cheetah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's the poker. Yeah. Okay. So maybe it's a weight thing. That's the pictures I always see too. Cheetahs. Cheetahs. The Elliot Pratt writes, tuned into 3HL. First thing I hear is Clay say, quote, not touch it, not touching that monkey, close quote. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. He's in there. Um, AR Haley 21, deer's eyes are black. So if those lights from hunters show the whites of their eyes, they are really worth the money. And people sending us pictures of like cheetahs and leopards taking their prey up into trees, which is terrifying. Yeah, those those things. Up, yeah, let they get up in the trees. I'm telling you, students. Hey, Clay, a gorilla in the tree would be quite scary. I don't think gorillas would hurt you usually, right? No, they, yeah, what? they would. Are you kidding? No, I don't think you guys are right. Oh, they would maul you. Gorillas <laughs> don't hurt people. Gor- yes, yeah, gorilla would kill you. <laughs> there has not been a gorilla kill a person in like hundreds of years. Hundreds oh, of years. They don't hurt people. You are out of your mind. No. JT, back me up here. Gorillas if you put do not a gorilla in this room, you would be dead within five minutes. No, 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 he, no. He, no. He, he, he'd give you the, the low kneel death lock. Yeah, or the people's elbow or something. JT. You are so dumb. <laughs> you are really so dumb. For real. Yeah, is, the gorilla is not a danger to humans. Oh, man. They're, they're our friends. Oh, okay. Here's another tweet. Barbara Dooley can climb trees too, Clay. Well, I'm in trouble with Barbara <laughs> Dooley. Let's go to John. John. Yeah. John, you there? What's yeah, going I'm on? here. What's up? Hey, I just thanking you all for being on the air. I'm, I'm the one that calls in and always complains about the, the Dan Patrick show. I, they, y'all just need to stay on the air and do away with that, number one. But the, the gorilla, man, piss off a silverback gorilla, he'll rip you apart. JT is taking your bonus music request on Twitter at JT1045. And 100% of the time, it's a female that requests this song. Strange but true. I buy it. 
All right. Chicks dig this song. Is know. it time to finally get to hear less miles? Want to? Or do we or do we let JT read the emails that he's been getting? We do need to read some of these emails. Uh, you guys, uh, as we said, I don't think anybody out there today is sober. <laughs> Uh, but a lot of people are sending us ridiculous uh, messages about this the animal discussion from time to time that we have. And Clay said he doesn't think a gorilla could do much damage, and that set a lot of people off. I don't now, think it, and I said that it, it could. I, yeah, I know that they too. could do damage. I'm saying they don't. I went to the people. zoo and listened to the guy talk about how the well, gorilla can just pound your head into submission in less than a second. If you do anything that they feel like is threatening to them, then they go to attack. And you may not be trying to, but they can definitely get you. Yeah. Because they was in the mess. But people were emailing the station to an account I even know we have. What's the account, JT? I don't know. It just came into mind eventually. (laughs) All right, what you got? This is from John in Smyrna. He sent his first email. That caller is wrong. Cheetahs do not climb trees. He meant leopards. (laughs) Sheesh. That's the holy That upset John. That's it. Someone would think that a cheetah could climb a tree. That upset John today. Sheesh, John says. I like right. I like it, John. Email okay. two, also from John. Okay. <laughs> Guys, tigers don't live in Africa. They live in Asia. Leopards do climb trees, while lions do it rarely and clumsily. <laughs> clumsily. That's email number two. Okay. I like it. Animal email number two. All right, what else? John's got it going. John. Again, email number three. I don't usually write in to the afternoon show, but you guys are killing me today with this animal business. <laughs> a gorilla is extremely dangerous. <laughs> They would kill a human in a second. See? This is my third freaking email. I must be the only person in Nashville with Animal Planet. <laughs> no. But we said gorillas were. Yeah. Two of us did. I don't. That, that's Clay speaking for the show again. I don't believe. <laughs> again, I'm asking for evidence of a gorilla killing a person. I'm not saying they couldn't do it. Like, a giraffe could kill a person if it wanted to. I just don't think it regularly kills people. Uh, gir- giraffes are docile. They will bite you, though. Or an elephant. It steps on you. But I don't know that it's necessarily trying to yeah, kill you. Elephants are dangerous. Yeah. Did you watch The Zookeeper? <laughs> the movie? Yeah. The, Adam, the, the, the Kevin James one? No. My kids aren't old enough to see that yet. Oh, that's hilarious. Every, like, 8 to 12-year-old kid in America saw that movie, I'm told. 7 to 12. Yeah. Yeah, because my son's 10. Yeah. It was hilarious. We watched it, like, twice already. A gorilla would kill you so fast. Well, he, he was hanging out in the uh, TGI Friday. That's where he wanted to go, so he took him there. And uh, everybody, he told everybody that he had his Halloween costume on. It was a real gorilla. <laughs> so he's over there holding like five people with one horn. <laughs> it's a okay, friendly so, gorilla. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. You, so you have a story where Chase wanted to go see a, a kid-type movie, and you went to see something else, and somebody threw popcorn. Yeah. And it ended up in a big, big ordeal. Yeah. So this time you just chose to go see the kid movie. Yeah. Was it safer? Yeah. <laughs> of course it was. Art on that gorilla. This is going to be good, I think. What's up, Art? You know it's going to be good if I'm on here. That's right. <laughs> hey. Yeah. A gorilla. If you remember in the past, this famous lady, uh, she wrote a book about training gorillas. She lived with them, I think, for 17 years. Diane Fossey, Gorillas in the Midst. They killed her. And, yes, they will maul you to death. Of course, I ain't going to get that no, close to find I, I out. I think that Dan Fossey was killed by, like, people. Ooh. I saw the movie Gorillas in the Mist. The gorillas didn't kill her. They didn't? No, the the lady was killed by, like, uh, wherever, they, wherever they were. Wasn't she killed by non-gorillas? No, I don't think so. I got a text message from, from Jeremy who says, um, I think I heard... That, uh, oh, he says hippos are the number one human killer. Yeah, in hippos Sorry. are underrated. Okay, and then uh, I Smacko on Twitter says, a gorilla ripped a lady's face off not long ago. Google it. That was not a gorilla. That was a, that was that monkey lady. That, that that lady just had a, uh remember that? We talked about it. She went on Oprah. The woman who lost her face. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was her pet monkey. She wore it, like, yeah, dressed it in clothes and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how we started the, yeah, she a diaper and all that stuff. Too, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So, Art, what, what do you think, man? If you'd have been a security guard in Ohio and they had all these animals on the loose, would, would you have just, like, ran and hid, or would you have been out there trying to trying to help people? Well, I'd have been right out there in the middle of it trying to find a big building to get into because I don't have no gun to kill anything. Well, you're a security guard. Right? Yeah, but if you're a security I'm guard. A security guard or not. I mean, you know, I don't have a uh, a gun big enough. 
And even with a pistol, I mean, you're li- I mean, just you're going to get one shot off of the pistol, and you're not going to kill no gorilla with one shot. The same way with a lion or or uh, any of these other animals, you might kill a monkey, but I mean, uh, you know, they have they have to have big special guns to to be killing them animals. And Anim- animal killing guns. Trees. Yeah, she was murdered, Art. She wasn't killed by the gorillas. Diane Fossey was found murdered in the bedroom of her cabin in Rwanda. Well, why didn't the gorillas save her then? Yeah, why didn't they, why didn't they protect her? <laughs> Maybe. Our, yeah. They're Art, you're just spreading all sorts of rumors out here, Art, about like Zio at the airport. Yeah. <laughs> Art, she was killed by a panga, a machete. So unless the gorillas are walking around with machetes, <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's scary. scary. Well, I guess I didn't read the book right then. Yeah, why don't you apologize to the people in Nashville for I misinforming them? I apologize for the people in Nashville, but if uh, Tennessee does not win, and, and I've tried to get on to the radio the other day uh, by Chris Johnson when that guy was on there from the Houston Chronicle, and I wanted them to, uh, I wanted to congratulate him because the Tennessee is going to whoop up on Houston, but uh, I just wanted him to kind of leave a space open for Chris so he can get, you know, get through it and, and get some good yards so Chris can get his name back in Tennessee. Did you say you wanted to graduate him? Yeah, I want to graduate him when Tennessee goes down there and whoops him. All right, Art. Well, we'll do it after the game, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. See you, buddy. Art versus John McClain. A lot of tweets coming in. What about King Kong? Well, that's a fictional movie. Nobody really climbed the Empire State Building. Carrying King Kong was killing people. Yeah. I haven't seen the, the one movie, what, Planet of the Apes? Oh, I'd like to see that. Yeah. Somebody sent us a video of Gorilla killing a man. It says graphic. I, I clicked on it, and it was uh, Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Dung. Dung. Graphic makes you more likely to click, like not safe for work. People are like, I can't believe you posted that. Why'd you click on it, knucklehead? People say, I can't believe you put tweeted Nancy Grace's nipple out. I said, how, how do you know then? I said, it's Nancy Grace's nipple. You believe it or not, you're going to click on it, you're going to see it. By the way, breaking news, Nancy Grace has lost 16 pounds on Dancing with the Stars. Good for her. I don't even want to go there. We got to go. You know where you need to go? I want to graduate everybody with hair, as Art would say. But for those of you who don't deserve graduations, you need hair. You know where you can go? PAI Medical. My guys, 376-6010 will take care of you. They'll graduate you on having hair before you know it. Again, it's 376-6010. Go to WeGrowHair.com. You can see hundreds of men just like you used to have hair. Now they've hopped in the Back to the Future machine with Doc and Marty McFly, and they're looking like they did in the 80s, in the 90s. They're women, better looking than they were before. You absolutely need to do this. You'll be happy that you did it. I've been to their offices. You walk in. It's very comfortable. Nobody else can see you. They have an elevator that opens right into their office. You give them an afternoon. They'll give you hair. It's a trip to Brentwood to find the fountain of youth. Why wouldn't you do it? Again, 376-6010 is the number. You give them an afternoon. They'll give you hair. Follow us on Twitter at 3HL1045. Uh, Robert Dinwiddie, who used to play football over at Vanderbilt, uh, didn't gorillas kill Tarzan's parents? Well, look how that turned out well. King of the Jungle was formed. <laughs> Otherwise, he'd have just been <laughs> bad for the family. Still happened. He'd just been a jungle guy. Holly AB, I'd like to formally congratulate 3HL for having a hilarious show today. Thank you, Holly. Congratulations, guys. It's Friday.